Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I wanted to hop on here really quick. Um, I filmed my Disney College Program phone interview um, back in February, but then I realized I never did an intro for the video um, and basically just talked about how I felt after my interview. So before we get into it, I just want to say, um, first of all, like, don't be nervous. I know that sounds so ridiculous to be like, don't be nervous because I was a nervous wreck. Um, and because of that, I was like babbling and just literally so all over the place. And um, another tip is to smile throughout your interview. They can't see you through the phone, obviously, but if you're smiling, your voice sounds happier and you literally won't sound dull. I'm going to recommend that you guys be as transparent and honest as possible. Um, you're going to see like there was a time where I put something as high interest, honestly, just because I thought like, oh um that's gonna get them to consider me more and when she asked me i honestly told her i didn't even mean to put that as high interest it's not even something that i want to do she removed it like like put a note in the system like hey she doesn't want to do this and yeah i got my offer um exactly five days after my phone call um and it's for qsfb which is quick service food and beverage if for like some people that don't know I literally found out about the program um, like I was invited by my advisor to apply like she kind of told me about it and um, was like hey it's kind of time for you to do like some internship type things so I was like okay um, and was asking her like was there anything that she recommended and she would say um, like I'm a 100% online student um, so she told me you know like I could still do an internship and go to school completely online so when she told me about the Disney College program literally I found out about it the day before applications dropped in January so I applied that very first day I didn't hear anything back though for like a couple of weeks and then that's when I got the email to do um, my web-based interview and immediately after I finished my web-based interview um, I was asked to schedule a phone interview and then I spoke with my recruiter Sandy which I loved our phone call was kind of short um, which made me nervous because some people said like oh I, I was on the phone for like an hour I was on the phone for 45 minutes I think Sandy and I were on the phone for like 25 maybe 30 minutes and I thought like oh my gosh that means she doesn't like me um, but then like as time went by I just kind of charged it to the game and was like you know what Sandy probably has millions of people to talk to today and I'm just not gonna trip so I just kind of let it go, let God handle it. And um, when I received my offer, y'all, I paid my fees so fast. I would seriously recommend if you want to apply, go ahead and tell your parents um, or if you're living alone, like I'm 24 years old. So if you're, I live alone. So if you are applying and you're like a freshman in college or whatever, because I think you only have to do one semester before you can apply. So you don't even have to be years in. Um, so yeah, literally I would recommend telling your parents right then and there and going ahead and getting that money saved. I, um, saved it. I think it took me like a little bit of time to save the money and I just kept it. Literally y'all, I hid it from myself in my room, kept it like off to the side. When I got my acceptance, I literally took that money, ran to the bank, deposited it, and paid my fee like with the quickness. The quicker you pay, um, the quicker the date that you want to move in will be available because they do fill up fast and they do run out fast. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing a, or I want to do, I don't know how crazy my CP is going to be because um, I'll be going. Um, and fall of two or fall advantage 2019 and I've heard that that's like the craziest time so yeah I am planning on doing as many videos as I can to help you guys and I just cannot wait like comment your journey down below and let me know um, how things have worked out for y'all I literally can't wait to make friends and like meet and talk to so many of you I've already made so many friends that are CPs already um, I've watched so many Emily Enchanted videos like Please comment the praising hands if you've done those before. The hands that are like, yes. So um, if you watch all of her videos, comment down below to let me know because I have. And, you know, I feel like I'm a pro already, so we'll see. And I can't wait to take y'all on this journey with me. Let's go ahead and get into the interview. Oh, great, Sandy. It's nice to hear from you. Oh, it's nice to hear you, too. So I'm calling for your telephone interview for the Disney College program. Is that still a good time for you? Absolutely. This is a great time to talk. Some 
time at the end for any questions you have, okay? Okay. All right, so before we get started, I just have a few housekeeping items from your application. Um, just want to make sure I'm looking at all the correct information. And you have never worked for the Disney company before, is that right? Yes, that's right. Okay, and have you ever been to Disney? No, I haven't. Oh, you haven't? I know. <laughs> I've always said like when I can afford it, I'll definitely go. And I've always said like, I feel like when I have kids, I'm going to take them like every year just because I didn't get to go as a kid. not be aware that the cast members who work in our parks and resorts wear costumes mm -hmm. and we all wear name tags. We all comply with the Disney look and appearance guidelines. If you go to the college program website under the earning, there is a link. And so I just recommend after the call, just reading through the Disney look and appearance guidelines to make sure that, that you're good with all of those. And um, like you said, you're receptive to following all those if you did the program? Yes, absolutely. You're interested first in the Fall Advantage, which is May through January, second in the Fall, which is August through January. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. And so did you look at the arrival and departure dates? Yes, I did. Okay. And you're fully available um, during both those programs for the entire time, and that does include the holidays. So you would be working tons of hours at Walt Disney World during the holidays. Yes, that sounds amazing because that's always okay. the time I wanted to go. So. <laughs> okay, all right. There's no, but I want to go home for Christmas. No. No. <laughs> so um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the housing aspect of the program. Okay. Um, you do live in Disney housing, and you could have up to seven roommates from all over the world. Mm -hmm. You'd be sharing bedrooms bathrooms and common spaces so have you ever lived in that type of environment before yes I have actually I have had roommates both in college and throughout many summers as a camp counselor and okay. um, I've lived with I've lived in a house when there were eight girls to a house and there were two girls to each bedroom or sometimes um, there was a situation where there were like three girls to one bedroom okay all right very good so um, in general what are your expectations of the program well, in general, I just, first of all, would really love to work for Disney in general. I feel like it's an amazing organization. I feel like um, I read a ton online with the professional internships that, you know, um, DCP was kind of like a good stepping stone and a great way to get to know the company and, um, you know, to just get a feel for everything that you guys have to offer and what you all expect of your employees, um, both professionally and intern-wise. So, um, like, funny enough, I've always told people that when I grow up, I'm gonna work for Disney. Um, yeah, so um, more specifically in relation to my public relations major, I've always known Disney to be very involved in the community outreach, um, just from like watching Disney Channel and seeing all of like the grants and things that were granted to children that were trying to make a difference and then like you guys' volunteer programs, your youth grants, book donations, um, right. philanthropy, all those things, I would love to be a part of all of that. Okay, well good, well good. So the next part I want to talk to you about is the earning where obviously you work in one of our theme parks, our resorts, and um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the atmosphere okay. and the work environment. So you could be working 30, 40, 50 hours a week, especially during those busy times. You could be working 8, 10, 12 hour plus shifts a day. Obviously Walt Disney World is in Florida, so that could be outdoors on your feet in the Florida environment. And I, I'm assuming Alabama has a yeah. <laughs> environment, the heat, the humidity, the rain, um, and all of that. So are you comfortable in that type of work environment? Yes, definitely. Working years of summer camps, like you said, Alabama gets so hot in the summer. So mm -hmm. um, I feel like as long as you know how to dress and keep water, if it's allowed, then I, it's definitely it something. Is. Yeah. So yeah, that's perfectly fine with me. Absolutely. The safety of our cast members is just as important as the safety of our guests. So mm -hmm. water, sunblock, shade where we can provide it. But it, it does get very busy. And I do see you have some work experience on your application. So yes. um, is there anything you did not like? Paid, unpaid or volunteer work? Um, I did not list that right now. I'm currently a nanny. I'm a full-time nanny right now. Um, okay. Yeah. And were your summer camps once you attended or that did you work at? I was a camp counselor. I worked at, the, at those. Okay. All right. Very good. And so tell me um, what the busiest day you've ever had at work looks like. 
the busiest day that I've ever had at work. I've worked in the service industry for many years, so um, definitely we would always get really busy. Sometimes um, I'm pretty flexible in my role. I could either be a shift that or um, a host that time, a server. So pretty busy days go as a server are usually taking on multiple parties at a time with probably me serving I would say probably 10 to 15 guests. The most guests I've ever served completely alone was 22. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> I would, they called me the party girl because I would always take all the parties when nobody else wanted okay. to take them. Um, right. But I felt like that was the most fun because, I mean, that's literally meeting a lot of new people in bulk. Right. Um, so it was taking orders, keeping your space clean, definitely just making sure that I like even though that we're busy and their orders may be coming out slow, still just doing my part and maybe offering a complimentary appetizer or making sure that everyone has a smile on their faces and that they're happy and if anything goes wrong, just making sure that I communicate that with my manager and being able to do anything I can to make sure that when they leave, they're happy and they'll come back and see us. Right, absolutely. And so tell me what good teamwork looks like to you. Good teamwork? looks like helping each other out whether you're new or old to the company making sure that not only you're making yourself and your company look good but you're also extending a helping hand to your teammates because at the end of the day when everyone is a team if one person is lacking then the whole that reflects the whole team so um i definitely always make sure that i ask everybody like do you need anything are you okay because i feel like that is very important. Right, absolutely. And so um, moving on to talk about some of the roles that you've listed here, um, just some general questions. Did you work a cash register? Yes, I did. I worked as a cashier. Um, I've done everything. <laughs> okay. And are you comfortable um, memorizing scripts and speaking in front of large groups of people? Yes, absolutely. Okay, and are you comfortable working with all types of food and beverage? So, peanuts, popcorn, big turkey legs, churros, dairy, all of that? Yes. Okay, and um, you listed lifeguards, so tell me what you thought about that role. Um, I'm just going to be really honest. I I don't think that I meant to list lifeguard as a high interest. Oh, okay. Um, but I am a really good swimmer. I okay, and that's up to you, and that's why we ask. Right. So if you are not interested in it, it is it really it makes no difference to me. Okay. Um, so if you want me to know that you're not interested in that, then I absolutely yeah. can do that. Yes, please. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> okay. So, and that's what we ask about that because it is yeah. Yeah, I saw that today and I made a note like on a sticky note to bring that oh, up. Good. So thank okay. you. Well, good. Well, good. I'm glad we talked about that. You know, speaking of safety, um, attractions is a safety critical role. Mm -hmm. So tell me um, about a time where you've had to make safety a priority in your work location. Well, um, first and foremost, as a teacher, um, safety was definitely always very important and we were required to carry security um, cards with us and make sure that we kept all of our children with us at all times and being safe. And attractions um, is a very broad um, mm -hmm. role. So it could be loading our guests on and off of our attractions or in and out of shows, but mm -hmm. you also could be a park reader. You could be working in the parking lot, taking money or driving a tram and sailing mm -hmm. or opening gondolas. You could be working there or at the sports complex or it's just very broad. If anything in the operation that's really not food and beverage merchandise or custodial you know, yeah so um, it's very broad so you open um to all of those responsibilities yes absolutely um and then also if there's any way to like say i would be interested in like children's attractions or anything i don't know the children's uh, activities yeah definitely okay. i feel like that would be a high interest of mine as well okay all right well very good and i know nisha that we um have not talked about all the rules on your checklist, but we will consider you for everything you've listed, whether low, moderate, or high, okay. with the exception of lifeguard now. But just to make sure you'd be happy with anything on your list, even if we did not discuss it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, very good. You've also indicated that you've read all the role descriptions for um, the roles on your list. So are you able to perform all the essential functions of these roles with 
with or without a reasonable accommodation. Yes. All right, very good. So those are all the questions that I have for you, and I will just let you know what happens from here. Okay. We will be sending communication to your dashboard on the Disney Career Portal. So you familiar with that dashboard? Yes. Okay. Viewer, there won't be any changes into to your dashboard until we make a final decision, and we make decisions continuously over the season. So you can hear from us in the next few weeks. It may take up until the end of March. Okay. So um, just be patient with us and know that we will get in touch with you one way or the other. If you're accepted to the program, you will get information at that time on your dashboard um, on the role we're offering you, how to accept or decline that offer, arrival dates, next steps, just everything you need to know at that point, okay? Okay. All right, so just check that periodically. And um, those are all the questions that I have for you, and I can take any questions that you have now. Okay, um, I did want to know, um, as far as like the DCP dorms, do you guys allow pets to live there? We do not. Okay, and then is there a lease agreement associated with the dorms? Well, your lease agreement is your acceptance of the program. Okay, okay. So, it, you know, it's not necessarily um, a Disneyland. Mm -hmm. If you leave the program, you, you have to still pay out Okay. The, um, but there's not a lease agreement as far as the Disneyland house, I mean, the Walt Disney World housing. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Those were the only questions that I had. All right. Then we are all set. I just want to thank you so much for speaking with me today and for your interest in the Disney College program. And I hope you have a magical night. Thank you so much, Sandy. Have a great night as well. All right. Bye, Misha. Bye.